Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tisayo and today I'll be sharing with you how to answer the tell me about yourself question. If this interests you, definitely keep watching. Okay, so it's simple. Answering this question actually depends on who is asking you this question. Is it your friend that you just met at the coffee shop or is it an interviewer that you have in front of you? I know you're not watching this video if it's your friend you're trying to introduce yourself to. You're watching this because you're probably going to be speaking to an interviewer or somebody in the ad com or an executive or a prospective employer. This is the right video you absolutely should be watching. Okay. So what I advise anytime you're introducing yourself to a prospective employer or an admissions committee member is talk about what you have done in the past, what you're currently doing right now, and what you're looking to do in the future. Again, what you have done in the past, who you used to be, what you used to do, where you're currently at right now, what you're looking forward to doing in the future, tying all three points together and making it align with whether the company's goals or the school's goal or wherever you are interviewing. So for instance, um, you might be thinking, okay, so I've done so many things in the past. How do I shorten this that it doesn't get so long-winded and boring for my interviewer or the ad com member? It's simple. Um, you may want to talk about your educational background, if it's important to the role that you are applying for. You may want to talk about your professional experience, um, highlighting just one thing that you have done, that you find that is a skill that is beneficial to the work you are going to be doing or to your role as a student. Then you want to talk about what you're currently doing right now, whether you are a student or you are working in a particular job and then you want to say that it will help you achieve xyz goal at the name of the company or the name of the school and i typically say that you should bucket between one and a half to two minutes for a perfect introduction do not do a one-liner. My name is Fisayo. I am a second year MBA candidate from Arizona State University. Nice to meet you. No, that is not a tell me about yourself. That is just like a one or two liner. Plan for one and a half, two minutes. Rehearse this to yourself. Even try to write down this point so that you can be saying it. And when you are saying it to the interviewer, it doesn't sound like you have rehearsed it or you memorized it if that makes sense to it's you it's very important that when you are introducing yourself you highlight the key things that the interviewer is looking to hear from prospective candidates you do not have to say them directly but from talking about the experience that you've had either in your educational background or in your professional background you would be able to saliently mention those points and make sure that they are seen that you are the right candidates for whatever it is that is before, whatever it is that they are recruiting for. Now here's an example of a tell me about yourself for a prospective MBA student who is speaking to an admissions committee member. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I grew up in Bene Republic. My undergrad was at the University of Ghana, Legon, where I studied biochemical engineering. Over the past five years, I have worked as a chemical engineer in XYZ company where I helped the company influence various areas of technology by thinking and designing processes for producing and transporting material. I work with teams that designs machines and plants in order to ensure that processes run smoothly and in the most economical manner possible. Currently, I'm a grade one manager who is responsible for 50 plants and 200 service materials all over my region. I'm looking to get an MBA at XYZ School of Business because of its huge reputation for developing data-driven leaders, which is a line of business that I'm looking to pivot to post-MBA as I would like to get into a chemical analyst role in the biotech industry. Although this was a short and brief introduction, you basically saw how I was trying to explain who this person was, their background, 
what they have done in the past, what they are currently doing, and what they are looking forward to doing in the future, making it short, crisp, and concise. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are, what questions you have for me, what clarifying questions you have for me in the comment section. If you'd like to introduce yourself to me, fine. Please drop it in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit subscribe on this video to ensure you get more content like this. Take care and bye.